welcome to another Left 4 Dead sequence breaking champs and tricks by GMGO. Let's begin with Death Toll 4. This is the town map. Here we're in the crescendo event where we are supposed to lower this crane. We'll open the path through the roadblock. Instead, we're going to jump on this rumble over here and we're going to jump over the roadblock ourselves. I fail here. It might take a bit practice, but there is no risk of falling damage. So just keep trying until you make it. Ran fast forward and jump a crouch. Remember to jump crouch. And there we are. The bots will very likely respawn next to you since it's it loses the path. And there you are. You just cross the crescendo vent. Then we have another one. No Mercy 3. This one is, well, the, the elevator goes up. You have to cross the roof and the zombies come everywhere. This is a bit tricky, especially when the, this, the infected, special infected are played by human players. There's of course also the exploding gas station, which is really cool to watch. <coughs> the trick here is the garage door over there, as you can see, is one that can be opened once you cross the crescent event and you reach the other side. Of course, the tank can open, can destroy this gate, but why not survive it? So let's just try it out. I start hitting this door with melee, as you can see. I'm using the glitch, which by swapping weapons really fast, I can melee with each one, making it almost instant, and keep milling. This in about a minute should be break open. With the help of other teams milling it, I have bots right now, so I'm all lonely here. But with the help of other players, you'll break it even faster. And as you can see, we just skip the Russian event, which is a pain in the ass. So here we are back in No Mercy 1 Apartments. There is the air conditioner we used to jump over there, or not jump for less damage. But those are removed on Brazil, so instead we're gonna go here, we're gonna run forward without jumping, and we're gonna drop in here. We're gonna take more damage than the other one, so we're gonna have 44 hit point less. But we can be it can be used on versus. Right now it's not very rewarding though, because going through the bottom in is easy since it's locked on normal. This is the next free glitch I'm going to show you in Blood Harvest 3, the bridge map. Here's a bridge you're supposed to destroy by pushing a train over there. Now this area is glitched, but however it's, there's no use for it. You're going to see why I'm talking about. Now right now, you can climb up the bridge without destroying it. You jump here, you jump again to your firm, and you have to go up the ramp. I fall here, but let's try again. Jump here, jump again to your firm, and then you go up this woodland support of the bridge. And here I, I, I like to crouch jump once. And in here, I just go to the right slowly and always tapping forward so I can see when I am ready to move forward. There. Then I readjust and I go up again, keep going up, and here I jump crouch. So I'm on top of the bridge right now, but actually the bridge is not physical. So, I'm actually going through the bridge, as you will see in third person. The bridge is not physical, it means I can't walk through this bridge right now. So, it's pretty much useless. Because if I try to go through the bridge, I very likely fall and will end up getting capacitated and taking a lot of damage. But it's fun to know and to chest out. Another extra glitch that's really useless, but it's interesting is this one over here on the very first map of numbers yet again we are here on this rooftop from the apartments there's an edge over there I just shot the idea is to jump on that edge but I end up hanging because I'm mistimed, mistimed. <laughs> so I'm gonna try it again so I go jump over there and I end land on that edge so I don't die although I took a lot of damage as you can see I only have 10 hit point less so I heal, I drop down and now I'm standing on the other side of this fence this is the fence where the ally where this is the ally where you came out after the apartments area there's the police vehicle you're very likely going to be familiar with so we're on the other side here's where zombies spawn since this area is not meant to be explored, it is completely unfinished. So you are actually outside the map, and as you you, s you can see, 
things are not done here, not complete. Textures mixing. That's it. And if you go to the hammer, you will die. For some reason, you approach this area, you die. 